Hi everyone, today I have another special video with these transformers. Actually, this one is pretty hot for I just filmed a, a video with this, with it, actually. Uh, I will use these two for have um, thicker coils inside, but this one is stronger. Uh, actually, if you can see this. Um, I have this one, but this is too weak for uh, what I want to do now, so uh, yeah, I risk to destroy it and I don't want that. Um, here I have the lamp that I used in the past video, but in today's video I want to wire them up in series to get uh, 400 volts, but actually I'm not getting just 400 volts for, uh, I will use one, one, uh, 180 degrees wave, actually no, will not be sine wave for my amp, can't handle them and uh, <laughs> get a square wave. And actually, even in short, my amp will turn off, for it can't ha uh, can't handle them uh, all. Actually, so firstly, I want to use this Vago thing to wire here this two in series, and after this. I will uh, go here through the connections and I need somehow to connect this here and uh, this here to be the same direction to wire like this if I will uh, if I uh, will uh, wire them like this I need to uh, wire this cable with this one so I will wire uh, it the same to use it uh, in um, series more easily so here I have one connector oh my gosh this is very hot and here I have another connector but then this one don't seems to want to stay here oh okay it stays uh, now I will power them on just to show you my amp will turn off if I'm uh, etching them but Okay, I turned off the light. As you can see. And uh, I have the same Twitter and filter connected, but these two are arching here at this voltage. So at this point, this voltage is very um, dangerous for me. And I want to power this lamp from uh, this transformers to see what will happen and I probably will blow the lamp, but that's not the point of this video. <laughs> but for fun, I will do this and for fun in this video. For Yeah, actually I need this lamp, but yeah, I hope you will like this video. <laughs> so let me show you the voltage I get here. So, Please don't try this. Please don't try this at home. Um, actually, I'm thinking I should measure the voltage that my um, lamp will power on. So um, yeah, I will uh, wire these things, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have all things wired up. Let me power my multimeter here. And I need somehow to show you the actual, um, the setup, you don't care about it probably. So I need to somehow show you the voltage and the lamp. So I will try to do this and you can see the lamp, but I'm not sure about this one or uh, there will be much light coming through it. Actually coming too, no, not through, but okay, you understand. I think now I have some uh, sine wave for I don't have, I don't hear any distortion coming from my Twitter. At this point, this lamp should be powered on. If I will uh, get here a wire to test this, Okay, and by the way, I forgot to mention um, I'm using 50 Hertz as usually. Um, 
at this point this lamp should uh, use a starter to ignite it like this and it needs to power on but now i don't have that much power to actually ignite it well yeah like this now i can hear some distortion coming from my twitter not from my um transformers but now i have uh, 52 volts let me turn this off and let's see okay don't powers on let me slowly increase the voltage to see at what point it will power on from itself by itself actually i don't have much power from um, these transformers for if I will use just one transformer at this voltage, it will ignite by itself. But uh, I don't have that much power now, so I will just go up with my voltage. Okay, now it ignites by itself. And yeah, I know this should be used with a ballast coil to don't blow up the lamp, but as I said in the first place, I will do this to see what will happen. Actually, you can see the voltage here. I'm getting 265 volts and at next level at almost 200, 300 volts, it powers up normally. But now, I'm giving to it more power. Now I'm giving to it that fully 500 volts. And somehow this shit works. But at this point it don't work normally. So um, I have to disconnect it from here. Okay, and I have 18 volts. At 18 volts, it won't power on. And I want to use the maximum voltage and let me see if. Let me see if I can arc this. And by the way, that's not safe what I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm uh, using this internet cable, this internet wire here, and this is not designed for this. And the isolation on this is not that good to handle that voltage, so some of this voltage is discharging me. And if I will uh, separate it in um, neutral and line, it can um, electrocute myself. But yeah. I'm surprised the, this shit works. Stay here. Okay, but now I want to test something. I want to see... Um, This makes sparks? No. Actually, probably is the same voltage. Um, now I want to see if I'm getting some voltage through this lamp. And to do that, I'll use again my multimeter. Yeah. From lamp to me, <laughs> I have this voltage. This voltage. Uh, circulates through the lamp on and discharges in me and now let me measure the voltage okay this voltage is high enough to ignite the actual lamp by just touching my multimeters uh, my multimeter cable on the wire so I think 
I can power up something in this way. And probably with this lamp as a breaker. So let's let's try this. Uh, here I have the wires. Actually, I don't need to disconnect this for I don't want to touch both of them at the same time. <laughs> or that's risky for me. Um, I'm not sure, but somehow I can feel this cable is hot or a little warm when I touch it. Probably this is just the current that circulates through it. And I want to power this transformer on in this way and probably I will ignite the lamp doing this by doing this. Yeah, as I said in the first place. Um, I need to adjust this, but I don't want to touch this wire directly with my hand. Yeah, it's good enough. So now I will just short some connectors from this transformer. And that's just the, this normal using normal usage uh, two or three volts difference. But now I probably have something like uh, six volts difference or a little bigger. So let me try doing this on this way. Okay, now I'm full power. I'm fully powering on this lamp. In real life, my sparks shows better than on the video. Um, what I should power on next with this, and how I can get um more voltage with this shit. Actually, I don't know if I will um. Where this transformer somehow with the other ones I can get more voltage. I want to try this. So I will try it now. But firstly I need to power on my lights first. Okay, now I have my light powered on and let me see what I have here. Um yeah, here are the connectors and they are hot again. Um, just by doing this, this transformer is warm and this one is still hot. Um, here I have the actual uh, transformer and I want to see if I, if I can wire it some way to have them in series. But I need to connect the zero point somehow. Uh, probably I will use the very same thing, the very same configuration with zero point for it's irrelevant if I'm wearing ba it backwards. Uh, just will be the opposite sine wave at the exit, and I don't uh, need this at this configuration. It's just uh, bullshit to do this just to get that configuration and probably i should use the blue one for normally i use the blue one on this for it's a uh, ticker and this one is thicker and uh, this one have weak wiring so i can blow it up in this way and i really don't want to blow this transformer up so now i will try to power this on here okay like this and now i will take my multimeter here to measure the voltage i will get but i'm not sure what will happen for uh, at this point this transformer have the very same sine wave at exit with these ones and i'm not sure if i will boost the voltage in a way or another so uh yeah i think i need to wire one here okay two things one is that my camera stopped recording for i don't have any free space remains and uh, now i need to do something about it and film this 
Uh, and the other thing is that I have cut the segment from my this from my video for I'm uh, complaining that I'm getting just 119 volts but I wired this transformer in series and measuring just this one so I'm stupid enough to do this <laughs> and I cut that part from the video so uh, I'm here now trying to do something about this and let me see the voltage now okay and i will need to use it this directly from uh, the all configurations from my, from the entire configurations to measure the voltage that i'm getting here but i don't think i will get some big voltage yeah as i said before in this way it drops my voltage to 290 volts <laughs> and if I will wire it backwards I think will be the same thing for uh, this is the same output and I can't generate more than um, 180 degrees the uh, wave for uh, this is what I'm doing between these two and this one just copies the design wave from uh, this one and i don't have any way to wire this to get the higher voltage i think oh no somehow it works i'm getting 700 volts that's very impressive let me short this but how I don't have any cable connected. Okay, to be honest with you, my brain just stopped working when I'm, I do this. Okay, my amp enter in protection mode instantly. Probably that's because um, I'm using too much power from it. So I will need to show you and I will try to show you the lamp and what will happen to it when I will connect it to this voltage when I don't have much power from, yeah. My amplifier turned off. <laughs> but the lamp seems to work. And this is just the power supply that I'm using. I, it can't uh, generate the enough power to actually ignite this and fully work with it and this is just me arching it when it works more But uh, yeah, I don't have enough power to power the, the this transformer them all at the same time. Actually, not with this amplifier, but I don't want to risk to damage my Alpine one doing this. And if I will take that amp, I can damage the actual transformers. And I don't want to do that. And instead of that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you next time.